Welcome to my channel, Berry Beats Jam and Jellies, where flavor meets rhythm today, we will learn the success secrets of crafting perfect jams and jellies. Crafting your own jams and jellies is a uniquely special experience, distinct from store-bought preserves, whether it's the anticipation of fruit picking, the aromatic symphony in your kitchen, or the pride in those gleaming jars on your shelf, there's something magical about it. We're honored to support your journey in preserving this tradition. If you're a novice, check out our secrets of success for helpful tips. For the seasoned jam maker, let this channel inspire you with new recipes. Consider passing on this timeless tradition to others, sharing the joy of homemade jams, blending old-fashioned charm with contemporary health consciousness. Each jar you create is infused with love and memories, ensuring you continue a meaningful legacy. Enjoy the sweet rewards. Explore a tasty world of beets and bites on Berry Beets Jam and Jellies. Subscribe for a flavor-packed adventure before you begin one. Listen attentively and follow instructions precisely too. Prepare equipment and measure ingredients in advance, maintaining a clutter-free workspace. 3. Ensure jars are clean and undamaged. 1. Use a suitable stainless steel, enameled metal, or hard-coat aluminum pot of specified size. 1. Choose the correct pectin as specified in the recipe. Preparing the fruit. 1. Select fully ripened fruits, rinse and drain. 2. Crush berries with a potato masher or pulse in a food processor. Do not puree. 3. Unsweetened frozen fruit can be used. Thaw to room temperature without draining excess juice. Making jams and jellies. 1. Do not use sugar substitutes or alter sugar amounts. Precision is crucial for a good set. 2. Use regular granulated sugar, not extra fine, without added sweeteners. 3. Do not omit lemon juice. It maintains the balance for proper gelling. 1. Add margarine or butter to minimize foaming. 2. Do not double recipes, as it may affect the setting process. 1. When making jelly, moisten the jelly bag or cheesecloth before use and do not squeeze for clear jelly. 2. Freeze fruit juice in an airtight container for up to 6 months if not used immediately. 3. Ladle jelly quickly into jars for the clearest possible result, eliminating air bubbles. Follow the tip for measuring sugar accurately with a metal spatula and stick to granulated cane sugar. Stay away from sugar blends with dextrose, fructose or other sweeteners as our recipes are tested with granulated cane sugar. When doubling a recipe, be cautious as the surface area of the pot determines the liquid evaporation and it may affect the set. Preserve fruit juice in an airtight container, freezing it for up to 6 months if not used promptly. For the clearest jelly, ladle it into jars swiftly, preventing trapped air bubbles that can cloud the appearance. Preparing the jars Wash jars, lids and bands. Place jars on a rack in a large pot. Fill pot with water and boil for 10 minutes. Pour boiling water over the lids. Let stand in hot water until ready to fill. In addition to sterilizing the lids, the hot water softens the rubber and helps create a seal. Drain jars and lids well before filling. Use new flat lids every time. They cannot be reused. Filling the jars. Prepare jam or jelly recipe as directed. Fill all cooked jam and jelly jars immediately to within 1 8 inch of tops. Wipe jars, rims and threads with a clean, damp cloth. Fill freezer containers to within 1 half inch of tops. They need more room to expand. Cover quickly with lids. Screw bands on tightly. Paraffin seals are not recommended for jams and jellies, particularly in warm and humid climates where molds grow readily. The proper seal, in most areas of the country, the inversion method for sealing jars protects adequately against mold. In warm or humid climates, however, sealing jars by the USDA water bath method can provide additional protection. For the inversion method, invert the jars on their tops for 5 minutes, turn upright. After jars cool, check seals. See below. For the water bath method, recommended by the USDA, place jars on a rack in a canner or large sauce pot of boiling water. The water should cover the jars by 1 to 2 inches. Cover the canner and bring water to a boil. Boil 5 minutes for 8 ounce jars. Boil 10 minutes for 16 ounce jars. Remove the jars from the canner. Let jars stand to cool. Check seals. Sealed jars. The lid should be concave, curved down, or stay that way when pressed lightly. If the jar is not sealed, the lid pops up when pressed, 
either reprocess by removing jar contents and filling and sealing again, or refrigerate unsealed jams and jellies after 24 hours and use within three weeks. Storing jars, wipe jars of cool jams and jellies with a clean damp cloth before storing, late, jars with dates. If a jam or jelly has mold on it, discard the entire jar. Use unopened cooked or frozen jams and jellies within one year of making. Once opened or thawed, store in refrigerator and use within three weeks. Remember, crafting delicious jams and jellies is a precise art, so adhere to these guidelines for sweet success in every batch. Thank you for watching, explore a tasty world of beets and bites on Berry Beets Jam and Jellies, subscribe for a flavor-packed adventure.